Hello everyone. Welcome to the next uh, video on the research paper writing. Today we will discuss about the most important thing is that like here. Uh, for example, if you have in a paper you have the different authors as layer like Garg, Harish and Dimple Rani and so on. How you can convert into the Excel like all these authors are put up in the different columns are there. So in the first name you have seen there are the two authors which are placed in the two different columns. There are the three authors in the second row. Uh, there are the three columns are there and so on. So this is a task that how you can split the comma separated value in the Excel. So there are the various steps are there. I can list it here, but I can show you demonstrate how you can say. It. So say this is the first author, and you want to change them uh, in into the first column and so on. What you can do that? It's a very simple task. Uh, you can simply uh, go to this. Uh, you can simply go to this uh, data firstly, and then click on the text to the column. You can simply click on text to the column. You output will be display here. You can click on the delimited, then put on the next. Now here you can see the names are separated with the help of the semicolon. So if you then you can click on the semicolon. If your name are separated with the help of the comma, then you can click on the comma. Like here, if you put on the comma, then the name will be like here. Garg is separated. Harish semicolon Rani will be here and so on. If now I highlighted here, so Kaur will be separated. Garg and Gagandeep is here and Harish will be here. And if you put on the semicolon, then the, now the name is the core Gagandeep is separate, Garg is separate. Now you can click on the next. Also, if you have some other symbols instead of the comma semicolon, you can put up here like H and so on. So you can see if I put up a H here, so wherever H appears, it will disappear. If you write them as a capital H, then you can see output is corresponding. But anyhow, I use them a semicolon. Now you can click on the next. Once you can click on the next, you can see uh, where you want to output. Right now it's a B. That's a, it can overwrite it. But if you want to put them all in the here, like this, what you can do is that you can simply click on D3. You can click on the next, and you can see the output will be here. Now since it appears only on the one output, that is only for this one. How you can do them all others? You can simply uh, you can simply select all these columns are they firstly and go to the text to the column you can delimit it you can next them you can use them as semicolon you can put them as next now you can save the output where you want to put the output as say like here in the e so i can put them as a e then you can use them finish so you can see i can over, i can uh, wrap the text so that it will be clearly visible to you so this is the here so you can see the outputs are like here you can see the first name is garg harish dimple rani is separated you can see this name kya kyun kai that is this this and the third one is i can overwrap them again so you can see similarly for the fourth one and so on so you can see there are so many names are there so i can use them each of the names are separated uh, in a uh, different bytes are there. That's a Shankar, this, 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 and many more are there. So you can see all those texts are highlighted in a separate manner. So this is the same name, this is the first name, this are, and these are all the author names. So this is the way you can use them in here. So I can uh, summarize the steps all are here. You can highlight the column, you can go to the data and then click on the table, delimits, and so on. So once finally you can click them. So this is the way you can simply use them here. I hope you can learn this lecture also otherwise you can simply follow this link for finding the more updated video best of luck students happy learning